Hi everyone, in the world of cloud computing, here are a few tech news highlights from this week. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard, cloud computing recruitment specialist, placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. Thank you all for your support on social media and subscribing to our blogs and YouTube videos. We are now on iTunes with our podcasts of all the shows and news. Below there is a link. Watch out for the new weekly cloud computing shows with David Linkicum, who is the world's number one cloud industry expert and internationally recognized thought leader. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share these videos with your friends and with your colleagues. This week saw SAP and Victoria University collaborate and open the Next Gen Lab to help bridge the tech skills gap. Australia's first SAP Next Gen Lab and Victoria University aim to connect students with industry to create opportunities for the next generation of digital expertise. The hub is situated at Victoria's University's City Flinders campus in the heart of Melbourne. Bruce McKinnon, SAP's Australia and New Zealand Head of Digital Business Services said, the partnership could not be more appropriate and went on to say, what excites me about Victoria University is its mission to be a great university of the 21st century underpinned by personalised, flexible and industry relevant learning opportunities. Victoria University's College of Business Dean, Professor Colin Clark said, we are delighted and honoured that the first SAP Next Gen Lab will be based at Victoria University. This is yet another opportunity to build on our ongoing partnership for the benefit of our students. This week saw Australia's largest supermarket, Woolworths, shut their doors across the country as an IT upgrade leads to an outage. Woolworths blamed an outage on an IT upgrade as it closed stores across the country. The company posted an update on social media saying the unexpected outage was related to an upgrade to its IT systems. Our systems ultimately self-correct themselves and we were back and open for trade across most stores by 4.30pm with all stores now operational. This type of incident should not occur and we apologise unreservedly to our customers and store teams for the inconvenience that we caused. This week, Australian startup Get Swift is now facing a third lawsuit over alleged deceptive conduct towards investors who purchased shares in the company throughout 2017. Law firm Fee Finley McDonald filed a class action against the SaaS logistics company late last week, making the allegation that Get Swift contravened its continuous disclosure obligations by failing to disclose to the market the termination of certain contracts and that its conduct caused its share price to trade higher than the price that would have prevailed in a properly informed market. This week sees reseller deal Telstra with Aussie startup Buddy collapsing. The negotiations between the Internet of Things startup Buddy and Telstra have closed down following several months of talks and failing to reach a reseller agreement. Buddy Platform is an Australian startup that supplies three IoT products. Buddy Cloud, a smart cities platform designed to provide overview and integrated infrastructure like connected lighting parking, traffic systems, and building monitoring. Buddy Om is a monitoring solution for tracking electricity, water and gas usage in commercial, industrial and residential buildings. And Pass On Buddy, a hosted mobile backend as a service, offering push notifications, job scheduling and other services. Buddy's shares were put into a trading halt and began to fall as soon as trading recommenced following the announcement. This week, NAB launches Cloud Guild to develop AWS skills. The NAB Cloud Guild, which is a technology training program which will give more than 2,000 NAB employees the opportunity to develop skills in cloud computing, working with AWS services. The program will provide participants from beginners to professional developers with the opportunity to acquire or build their cloud skills in support of NAB's technology transformation. NAB Chief Technology and Operations Officer Patrick Wright said, the bank is transforming to become simpler and faster and AWS cloud technology is a critical enabler of NAB's transformation. Cloud computing is becoming a dominant technology platform and our people need to have the relevant skills to deliver for our customers. Customers are demanding seamless digital experiences and we need to be ready to deliver. Graduates will have access to become certified AWS cloud practitioners. They can also continue training to become an associate developer, an associate systems operator or an associate architect. 
The training will be funded by NAB and run by AWS. The focus on five key areas are architecture, security, developers, operations, and big data. Patrick Wright also said, you can't pick up cloud skills overnight, but if you have the right mindset and a passion for technology and a desire to learn, this could open up new horizons in your career. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard, cloud computing recruitment specialist, placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech, and AI. I hope you enjoyed watching this week's news, and remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video with your friends and your colleagues. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, find us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, and you can also check out the latest shows with David Linthicum on the podcast. There is a link below in the description box. Until next week, be good, be safe, and keep our clouds secure.